Hi all. Let's talk about mesh joint transformation in SSIS. So this is a one of the important transformation in SSIS, which helps us to join two sorted inputs. This works as a SQL Server joins. It takes only two sorted input data sets. And while configuring the mesh join, you need to specify the join type, either full join or left join or inner join. And as a next step, you need to specify the column name, which join is going to use. So I'm repeating this mesh join transformation works as a SQL Server joins, but it takes only two inputs. It does not take more than two inputs and those inputs also need to be sorted before giving it to the merge join. So based on the merge condition, it gives you the output. So let me show you practically how to use the merge join in SQL Server data tools in SSIS. Let me go to the SSIS window where I am going to show you practically how to use merge join. So here as discussed, merge join require two inputs. So one is a OLEDB source and the other one is a OLEDB source one. Let me show you the data as well. If you see the data prospect two, so here I have a product category information. So totally I have four category products, four types of categories, bikes, components, clothing and accessories in the second input. So I have a subcategory. So under bike, I might be having more than five or six subcategories under components as well, under clothing and under accessories. So now my intention is, so I want to show you what are all the subcategories are there under this main category along with the names. Let me close this. Let me show you the second input. So this is the subcategory information. So this subcategory information and the category information is joined with the help of the product category ID. So these three belongs to one category. The other, these two all belongs to other categories. This is the second input. So as discussed, so before going to give input to the merge join, I need to apply a sort for the two inputs. So that's the reason I kept a sort here. So sort, let me show you the sort configuration. So double click on sort on what key you need to sort, you need to specify here. So I have selected product category ID because this is the key is common across the two inputs. So that is the reason I selected this and by default is ascending. I'm going with the ascending. If you want, you can select the descending that is up to us. Let's click on OK. Now let's double click on the sort one. So there also as discussed product category ID is the common across the two inputs. I have selected this one and by default is ascending. I'm going with ascending. Let's come to the merge join. So double click on the merge join. So here this is a place where you need to specify a join type inner join left outer join or full outer join. So for time being I'm going with a inner join. So if you want to try with the left and full you can go and try with it So based on the inputs. So let me select the input and the second condition is as discussed you need to specify on what key basis you need to join these two. If the column names are same between the two inputs. So it automatically selects this and apart from this what are all the other columns you need. So I need the other columns as name from the product category. So this sort is nothing but a product category and this is a product subcategory. This is a sort one. So that is the reason why I made it as an alias name as name category and name subcategory. If you see the this in name category comes from the sort is nothing but this input and name this name comes from the sort one this input. So means now my output is going to contain two columns. One is a name category is nothing but a main product name our name main category name this is the subcategory name so to differentiate I, there is a reason why i gave two different names you can okay and i just configured the plot file destination okay so let me run this and show you yeah so if you see this so i have four input rows and 37 from the second input and uh, as an output from mid join i am getting 37 rows Okay, so let me show you the output here. So this is the output. I can see name category and name subcategory. So here you can see bikes, mountain bikes, bikes, road bikes, bikes, storing bikes, like components, wheels and all. So these are all the 37 rows which are grouped based on the name category or product category. So this is what mirror join. 
so means again i am repeating so mid joint takes only two sorted inputs and it supports left jo uh, left joint full joint and inner joints so that's it about a mid joint in the next uh, video we'll talk about what is union all and what is the differences between union all and mid joint thank you thank you for watching